Hey everybody, it's Gothel for 1496. So today I'm here to do a quick collective haul for you guys. And I actually do have more items than this that I can do a collective haul on. Um, but those items are not necessarily like beauty slash fashion related. So I wasn't 100% sure if you guys would still like to see that. So I'm going to start off um, with uploading this part of the collective haul. And if you guys would like to see the other part, please let me know. And I will try to get that video up as soon as I can for you guys. Um, the other products are like um, a couple Bath and Body Works products, some books, um, and a Via Bradley item. So that is kind of like um, a description of what those items are. But today I'm going to do a quick little collective haul of like beauty slash fashion items. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy and I guess we will get started. Um, so the first two items that I have in the makeup category are from NYX, and I really do like um, NYX cosmetics. Uh, I mean, what have I tried? I've tried their, I've tried their NYX jumbo eye pencils. I've tried their um, single eyeshadows, well, only one of them, and then I've tried one of their um, trio eyeshadows, and. So far, I have not had a complaint about their products, so I really do like them. So the first item that I got from them um, is one of their Rouge Cream Blush, and I got mine in the um, O2 Natural. So it looks like this. So they do have other selections or other colors in this cream blush, but you're, I mean... You can swatch them, but I would feel bad if I swatched a, you know, one of these and I didn't buy it and I had, you know, I messed it up for the person that will buy it. So I got natural because I figured hopefully it will stay true to its um, name and hopefully um, it will complement my skin tone and many others. Got that. And then I swatched that real quick. So that is what the um, NYX Rouge Cream Blush in O2 Natural looks like swatched. Okay, so the next item that I got um, is also from NYX, and it's one of their NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. Um, and I currently own two of the two of these, and I got I have one in Milk, and then I have the one in Lavender, and I love them. They're great. Um, for putting on before you put eyeshadow, you know, to make your eyeshadow more vibrant, um, you know, to make it stay a little better. So I ended up picking up one in 611 Yogurt, which looks like this. So I picked this one up because I, well not recently, I, um, about a couple months ago I picked up the MAC eyeshadow, um, all that glitters, and I figured that this color would complement that eyeshadow and then I pretty sure this color will complement like any natural eye that I do and I also swatched that for you guys right here so that's what the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and 611 yogurt looks like so those are the products that I got from NYX um, the next item that I got is from e.l.f. and it's from their studio line and, he, and it's the Complexion Perfection Powder, or number 83801. And I was already looking at this product, um, but then a while back I watched um, Cassie Catastrophe's, um, her getting ready tag, and I saw that she used this product, and I asked, you know, what her thoughts were about it, and she said that she would totally recommend it, recommend it. So I went ahead and picked it up. I'll show you guys real quick. So it's kind of like a different type. It's a different powder. Um, as you can see, it has four different colors. It has a um, yellow, a light baby blue, a baby pink, that even baby pink if that made sense, um, and a green color. And so it's not your typical powder, but this powder is supposed to... Um, kind of like even out your skin tone and I think each color is supposed to help like a different type of flaw that you may have on your skin 
and what the packaging says to give you like a better description of this product it says create a balanced and radiant complexion that is beautiful and healthy the light lightweight formula evens out the skin tone and absorbs excess oil the sheer formula brightens and neutralizes the skin so that's a little background of this product so um occasionally i do have some like red pigmentation to my skin and that's the main reason why I wanted to try this product was because occasionally I do um, right now I don't think I have too much red color um, discoloration and but then I also have some acne too and that can cause um, redness so that's another reason why I got that and then the last makeup product that I got um, is from NYC and it is one of their cover sticks with vitamin E and I picked up mine in the color 781 light so I'm anxious to see how um, I like this product so I will swatch it for you guys so that's what it looks like when you when I apply it to the skin and then I'll blend it out and then I don't know if you'll be able to see that but that's what it looks like blended out so I'm hoping that I will be satisfied um, with this cover stick because it is a little bit on the you know like inexpensive side and sometimes I'm kind of skeptical on you know the less inexpensive items um, especially like if they're like a dollar two dollars but who knows I mean it could be maybe one of the best concealers I've or cover sticks I've ever tried um, but I do have like a little backup plan if I don't necessarily if I if my expectations are not exceeded with that cover stick um, I probably will pick up one of the Revlon color stay cover sticks so I do have a backup plan if um, I'm not satisfied with that cover stick so the next two items are like in the nail polish category so the first item that I got um, it's, it's a new product for me but it's probably um, an old product like you know old time type product um, but it's an OPI nail polish in the color Teenage Dream from the Katy Perry collection. And so, this collection is probably long gone. Um, I picked this um, nail polish up from my local hospital's gift store. Right, I think I got maybe one of the last ones. So, um, I got it really last minute. So, I'm pretty pretty happy that I was able to pick one up um, but yeah so that kind of shows you how long I've waited to do a collective haul for you guys so that's what it looks like and then the next nail product that I got um, is from LA Colors and it's one of the nails art deco um, nail art type item and it's in BNA 504 black um, and it just looks like this, as you can see. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I think it's Sally Hansen that has these nail polishes, or, you know, nail art polishes also. So, if any of you guys have those type of products. So that's what it looks like. So... I've heard good things about this brand, so I'm hoping um, I will be happy with the purchase. And, and um, I did find this at the dollar store, so it was a really good deal also. Okay, so the last two products that I have for you guys today are um, fashion products. Um, and one of them is a pair of shoes and one of them is a watch. So I'll start off with the pair of shoes. Um, the other day, my mom and I um, went to Ross, and when I go to Ross, I like immediately go to the shoe section. Um, I don't know why. I guess that's kind of like my weakness. So I found these pair, this pair of shoes. So let's see how it can show them. Here, I'll show one of them. So as you can see, it's kind. They are. How would I describe them? They are like a silver wedge sandal type shoe. So 
and it looks like that. And then as you can see on the strap, it actually has some um, buckle detailing, but I think it's only detailing. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually loosen them, loosen them or not, but it has this nice buckle detailing. And I am probably going to mispronounce the name of the brand, um, but this is what the brand name is. Um, I'm not going to even try to pronounce that name because I don't even know how to. Um, but it's S-B-I-C-C-A of Californ California, I think. Ugh, I probably really messed up that name. Um, but I will put the name of the brand of these shoes in the bottom, in the description, do description bar down below in case you guys are wondering. Um, and they say that you compare these shoes to $40 and I picked them up for $15. So I was really pleased with that deal. I got those. And I think I'll probably wear them tomorrow um, when I go for another appointment to the doctor's appointment. Okay, so for the last item is a watch. And I know these watch, this type of watch has been in, you know, style for I don't know how long and I don't even know if they're still in style and um, but I picked one up so I don't know what the I don't know what they're called and um, but I know these watches have been in style and at first I wasn't like I liked them but I wasn't you know ecstatic and oh okay I'll get one um, but the other day my mom and I went to a Christian store and I saw this and it really drew to me not because of the type of watch but because of what is in the center, if you guys can see, it's a cross. So I really like that. So that's really what drew me in to get this. Because um, I really wasn't going to buy one of these watches anyways. But when I saw that it had a cross in the center, it that bought me. <laughs> so that is my quick little mini collective haul for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys do want to see um, that other part of the haul, please let me know. I would be more than happy to get that up for you guys. Um, and I guess I'll put a little disclaimer in here. Um, I'm in, in. So like I said, it's a collective haul, so I didn't necessarily, you know, like go out one day and buy all this stuff. Um, none of these items were sent to me for free. Um, Either either these products were, you know, a gift from my parents or bought for me by my parents or family or they were purchased by me um, and all my opinions are my own. So put that in there. Um, so and look out for my smoky eye tutorial. I'll be I will be working on that soon. So I guess I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.